So Brother Mark, there's a lot of other mission projects going on um, throughout the entire world. So if you can briefly kind of share kind of all these places that GFBC is involved in. Absolutely. You know, Noe, uh, we've had two major crises happen around the world, major. One was Afghanistan. You remember when Afghanistan was attacked and people started fleeing. And so we were able to provide some funding and some help for these Afghanistan refugees that are fleeing for their life. And uh, that was a, a unique opportunity for us. But then you also have heard just recently, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, the Ukrainians are fleeing for their life as well. Now these folks are being forcibly displaced. I mean, they're just getting out with only the clothes on their back. And uh, so we are working with our partnerships in Poland through some churches in Poland to help these refugees from Ukraine to have a place of shelter, to have some food, and to, and to, and to hopefully, you know, get to a place where they feel safe. And so all those needs are taking place as well with our partnership, like with Abraham and, and Grace Shepherd who are in Greece, and we've worked with them in Greece and doing a lot of things in Greece with those refugees. But we kind of amped up our work if, with refugees through Abraham with Afghanistan and the Ukraine crisis, okay? So we got that going on. And then of course we got Guatemala. I mean, we've been doing a lot of work with Guatemala. And uh, matter of fact, a team just got back from Guatemala who was able to build a home for a family. And there's some other construction projects that we do in Guatemala and food projects and school projects. Guatem that work's still going on as well. And then we've also got some partnerships that are here stateside, that are incredible. We can't forget about stateside, across the street, around the world. And some of those stateside projects that we work with is Baptist Children's Home, the Alabama Baptist Children's Home, for those children that have been abused they have a place that they can go to and be safe until we can find a, a more secure place for them. Places like uh, Jesse's Place and Jimmy L. Mission for the homeless, here in, here, right here in Gardendale, right here in Birmingham, where they can go and find a place of safety and food. Even, I don't know if you guys, don't, I don't know if you know this, we have 30 families here in our church that are on our food list. And so every month we provide them food right here through our food pantry, our food closet. So it's important to be around the world, absolutely. It's just important to be across the street. And we work with the local communities as well. So all of that is missions. And all of that is for one reason, to be able to share the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel message, because that is the power that changes lives. It is, amen, amen. So Brother Mark, uh, let me ask you this question. So the kids that are watching this video, you know, what are some ways that they can be involved in missions? Obviously this week we've been doing uh, the missions offering, but what are some other ways that maybe they can be involved in? Absolutely, man. Of course, I would say, number one, pray. Whenever we ask our missionary, our mission partnerships, what is your greatest need? Every one of them will say pray. Pray, because prayer changes things. It's the power of prayer that knocks down walls that allows the gospel to go in and be, be shared. And then I would say, of course, they're giving, absolutely give to the missions offering so that even though we can't go, we can help those missionaries on the ground. And then I also would say, hey, seek the Lord in places to serve, where God asks you to serve. And I know this is Vacation Bible School. Uh, God may be calling some of these kids one day to be missionaries. And so be open to, to God's call on your heart, on your life, as far as, man, is, is, does God want me to be a missionary? Is God calling me to be, to be a missionary? and then search that out, what does that look for? And then I would say, I would even suggest that our students begin reading about missionaries, learning about missionaries. And there's all kind of information out there about those and if they got any questions about it, man, they can come to you, they yeah, can come absolutely. to me and we'll be glad to give you the resources on discovering what is, what is a missionary? What does it look like to be a missionary? So I would say, you know, pray, uh, of course, continue to give, seek God's face, and if God's calling you to be a missionary. And then I'd also say, man, get involved wherever you can serving. Because missions happens where you are. Mm, I love that. Right where you are. And missions is action, and that's serving. And it could just be little bitty things in your neighborhood. It could be little bitty things in your community. 
because it's the small things that really makes the difference. And it's the small things that add up to something larger in life later on. Well, thank you so much, so much, Brother Mark, for sharing that. And I know I've been blessed just learning about these missions throughout the week, but yeah, thank absolutely. you so much for joining yeah, us throughout the week, good. teaching us about missions, yep. not only you know, across the street, but also all over the world. That's right. So appreciate your time, Brother Absolutely. Mark. Absolutely. God bless you guys. Hey, looking forward to being with you at Vacation Bible School in person. We'll be there with you, sharing mission moments during the large group. Isn't that right? Exactly. We're it's excited. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great week. God bless you guys.